Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here are the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of January. For educators, we pray that educators may be credible witnesses teaching fraternity rather than competition and helping the youngest and most vulnerable above all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, welcome to this morning offering and morning meditation. And the word of God welcomes us this morning. The word of God welcomes us to spend this time with Jesus, to spend time with him, reflecting on our lives, sharing with him our problems, our difficulties, our challenges in life. And at the same time, also asking him for the grace to help us throughout this day, to give us the courage, to give us the necessary blessings that we require so that whatever we do today, it may be according to his plan, that whatever we do today may reflect his love, peace and joy to the world around us. And therefore, as we begin today's prayer, first and foremost, we thank the Lord for the gift of this day. We thank Him for giving us a beautiful day, another day, in order to experience His love, joy and mercy. We thank Him for giving us another opportunity to correct our mistakes, another opportunity to make a difference to the people around us, another opportunity to help uplift those who are around us and also an opportunity to complete something that was left incomplete and as we reflect on the psalm 31 for today let us try to be with the psalm let us allow the psalm to take root in us the psalm says in you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. And here we see in the world, there are many instances where there is injustice, inequality being done. 
And if we pay close attention, we can hear the voice of the poor, the marginalized, the downtrodden, those who faced inequality and injustice on a regular basis. And therefore the psalm says, Lord, listen to our cry. Sometimes when we face challenges in life, everything seems quite different. It appears that the whole world is against us. And in this situation, Lord, help us. This is what the psalm encourages us to do, to place our faith, trust and confidence in the Lord. The psalm continues, You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. And therefore, today's psalm is a prayer to the Lord, telling the Lord, be with us, guide us. Do not allow us to fall prey to the traps that the world set for us. And therefore, we ask the Lord to help us to come out of these traps, to take us out of these nets, to prevent us from making wrong decisions in our lives. The psalm continues, You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love, because you have seen my affliction, you have taken heed of my adversaries, and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy, you have set my feet in broad place. Here we see that in spite of the many faults, the many times that we have sinned, the Lord has been merciful to us. He has been given, giving us many chances. He has given us opportunities to improve, opportunities to change the ways in which we go about. But still we see that sometimes we are quite arrogant. We do not like to change our ways. And therefore, today's psalm invites us to reflect on this. In spite of the mercy, in spite of the Lord's forgiveness, do I still continue to do the same things that I'm not supposed to do? And the psalm continues, For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing, my strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of my adversaries, a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. When we indeed fall into the trap of the world, when we indeed give ourselves to the sinfulness of the world, we become like these broken vessels. We become dead in our heart and in our mind. We are not able to feel others around us. We are not able to feel the sentiments, the feelings of others. And thus we are driven by our own selfish interests, by our own motives. We become blind to the reality and we do whatever pleases us. And therefore, the psalm invites us to ask the Lord to deliver us from these situations, to prevent us from falling into these traps. For I hear the whispering of many terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord, I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. The Lord will never abandon us. All that we need to do 
is place ourselves in his hands. We need to surrender to the Lord and allow the Lord to work in and through us. It is only when we are rooted in the love of God, when Jesus is at the center of our lives, that whatever activity we do will come from him. All the activities, the work that we do will radiate his love, peace and mercy. And it is only then that we will be able to become a light to the world around us. And therefore, my dear friends, let us now close our eyes at this morning hour. Let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord for all the good things that he has done for us. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, Jesus Christ. He cleansed us from all our sins. He has given us another opportunity. He has given us new life. He has prevented us from eternal damnation. For all this, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and protect us. My dear friends, we also thank the Lord for guarding us and protecting us all through the night. Lord, you always watch over us and guide us. Lord, we also thank you for giving us this time to spend with you. We thank you for all the graces, for all the blessings that you will impart on us today. For your great love and mercy, O oh Lord, we thank you, we praise you and we glorify you. Lord, we offer you this day. We offer you all our activities and works that we do today. And now, let us spend a few moments in silence, reflecting on the psalm. Let us allow the psalm to take root in us. Let us allow the psalm to lead us so that we can gain something from what we have reflected and meditated on today's psalm. So as we spend these moments in silence, let us ask the Lord to move us, to guide us, to help us to become better individuals, to help us not to fall into the traps of the world, but to surrender ourselves to him so that he may work in and through us. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince, of the heavenly hosts by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy O Sacrament Divine all praise and all thanksgiving 
be every moment thine saint jetrud pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen